Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Managed Workspaces. In this lesson, you will get an overview of MicroStation configurations. This lesson will present an overview of configurations in MicroStation. Why just an overview? The purpose is to just understand the overall concepts without getting into too much detail. During this lesson, we will learn what is a workspace, we'll talk about the configuration language, how configuration is a simple scripting language, we'll learn the use of variables, which is to identify the location of resources and control functionality. We'll also look at folder structure. We'll take a look at the workspace and workset interface. And we'll look also at the concept of redirection as well as variable operators. So what is a configuration? A configuration has resources, cell libraries, level libraries, styles, custom interfaces. We can think of resources as CAD standards. These CAD standards reside in workspaces and work sets and other locations. A, a workspace is really a set of standards potentially provided by a client. A work set can be equated to a project. So these resources are pointed to by configuration variables. And these are loaded through a configuration script, which are stored in configuration files. So let's look at the folder structure that relates to these things that we just talked about. By default, there is a configuration folder under MicroStation Connect Edition. There is a Workspaces folder, a Worksets folder, and there are Standards folders under each of these locations that hold those resources. This image shows an example of the configuration variable dialog. Note the list of variables. Note also the MS cell variable is highlighted. With this variable highlighted in the area below, you can see the expansion of the variable. In this case, the MS cell has been defined to look in six different folders for cell libraries. MicroStation has two main types of configuration variables, the framework variables and operational variables. Framework variables define the location of primary folders. Operational variables direct program behavior. Framework variables are usually prefixed with underbar USTN underbar. User variables are usually prefixed with MS underbar. Framework variables control folder locations. Let's look at a few of these variables. We'll start with USTN configuration, which is the base variable. Points to the configuration folder. Next, look at the workspaces root variable. This points to the workspaces folder. We then add the workspace name, which is derived from the interface selection. We'll look at that later in the live demo. The next is the workspaces root, which is actually the same as the folder name, as the workspace name. Then underneath that is the Workspace Standards folder. We then look at Worksets root, which contains all of the worksets in the default location. There is a Workset name, which help us derive the Workset root variable, and then the corresponding Standards folder in the Workset location. Let's take a quick look at how assignment statements work. They're very similar to any other scripting language where the value on the right assigns or modifies the variable on the left. These are the main operators used in MicroStation. There's an equal, a colon, a greater than, and a less than operator. The equal assigns configuration variables at the current level, regardless of whether it is currently defined. The colon assigns the configuration variable at the current level, but only if it is not already defined. The greater than operator 
appends the operator to the existing definition of the variable, separating the values with semicolons. The less than sign works the inverse. It prepends the operand to the existing definition of the variable, separating the values with semicolons. Above, we mention levels. We'll talk about levels a little later on in this lesson. Let's take a quick look at how framework variables are built. If we start with the USTN configuration variable, we can then build on that. Note the workspace's root variable utilizes the USTN configuration variable, then adds workspaces to the end of that, creating the workspace's root variable. Likewise, the workspace standards variable is created from workspace's root, appending the value of standards to that and creating that new variable. This is an example CFG file. This example CFG file shows variables that point to the locations of resources within the configuration using the assignment statements we just reviewed. Let's take a look at a few of the examples. So if we start with msdef, it uses the equal operand. The DGN liblist variable uses the append operand. And the MS cell uses the prepend operand. As we mentioned earlier, a configuration file is really a script. It's a very simple script. So if we look at the if define statements and in the if statements, they are very, these are very similar to other programming type languages. We can then set variables based on the logic within these statements and then potentially conditionally include other CFG files. The configuration load process starts with the MS local CFG file. This is located in the program files Bentley MicroStation Connect Edition MicroStation config. If we look at this file directly, we see that the top portion is a comment section. Using the pound sign, you can add comments or annotations within the file. Anything with a pound sign is not processed with the logic in the file. The next thing we have here is an include statement of the MS dir, which holds installed configuration variables. The next are a couple of other variables that get set. And then we have the main configuration variable, which gets loaded, which is the MS config file. Let's briefly take a look at the concept of configuration levels. Levels allow variables to have a load priority. Lowest load first, highest load last. We have command line parameters, predefined parameters, system variables, application, organization, workspace, work set, role, and user variables. You can change or assign levels within a CFG file. Let's take a look at the application level ones. So you can simply put a line in there that says, percent level application, and that will change the level. Or you can use a numeric value, which equates to the uh, level value. You can also do include, if you, when you're including a CFG file, if you want to include that specifically at a level, you can add a level at the end of the include statement to have this include, for example, application here. So we take a, another look at the configuration variable dialog boxes. Variables control location and functionality. If we again look at the MS cell variable, note again the list of paths. So these paths were generated by either append or prepend statements within the configuration variables. Note also the levels indicated on the right. We have system undefined organization. This will indicate the last value that that variable was assigned or modified with. So let's open MicroStation Connect Edition and look at the configuration variables. This shows the MicroStation Connect Edition Update 17 dialog box. Note we have a workspace picker and a work set picker. 
By picking these, we will set the variables UST and workspace name and workset name. Use the browse button to browse to open a file within that workset. We'll open that. Once the file is open, go to File, Settings, Configuration, and Variables. Again, we'll look at the MS cell variable. Note it was last set at the workspace level and has the list of paths. Let's now look at the concept of redirection. Redirection allows change of location. For example, you want your projects to be located in a project's directory somewhere on your network. Here we just have this pointing to our C drive, but it's not often that you will actually have your projects located under the workspaces directory, so that is why we allow the concept of redirection. We can also relocate things like work sets to have the work set config files located out of the workspace. And in this case, this is a work set config. We also have located the project Metro Station Redirection to be under this project. During our exercise in the next lesson, we will recreate this environment so that it functions. So as we mentioned, redirection allows the change of locations. To do that, we can set variables. In this case, we're going to set company projects. We're gonna set that to C projects. To reset the work sets root to be under this location, we set the work sets root variable. This defines the location of work set CFG files. So we utilize the company projects variable, append that with work sets to create the new variable definition. The work set name is defined by the interface selection, but we want to set the work set root. This defines the work set root folder. So we use the company projects variable again, we use the work set name and create the work set root. This establishes the root folder in our C projects folder with the specific work set name. The result again will look like this. The last concept we want to look at is variable operators. Variable operators allow us to parse out various aspects of variables. For example, if we want to parse out various portions of the UST and workset CFG file, we can use variable operators to do that. For example, what if we want to find the parent directory of a given variable? That would be the G client's Department of Transportation part of this variable. So we take the parent devdir operator using parentheses we put the parameter inside the parentheses, which is the variable USTN workset config. That then returns G clients Department of Transportation as the value of workset PDD. What if we want to find the name of the last directory? We can use the last dir piece operator to do that. The syntax is very similar. Use last dir piece the variable within the parentheses and this returns work sets as the value of work set bar. We can also use read registry to find registry values. Here's an example of that usage. This concludes the lesson MicroStation Configuration Overview. During this lesson you have learned about what is a workspace, configuration files, the fact that configuration files is a simple scripting language, it uses variables, these variables define locations of resources and functionality. We reviewed the folder structure, we looked at the workspace interface, 
we looked at redirection, and we looked at variable operators. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.